Welcome back to the Midyear Mitch YouTube channel. Today's episode, I want to do a quick walk around to show you my progress on the Misfit split, as well as show you replacing the stock steering wheel with a smaller, much more comfortable steering wheel that'll make it a lot easier to get in and out of the car. So be sure to stick around. We're at the movies, huh? Yep, we're at the movies. So I'm getting the last finishing touches done on the Misfit before Carlisle. I have the rear windows in. I fixed the driver window so that actually goes up and down now. I have the passenger side door all assembled with the glass. Just need to put the vent window glass in and the vent window regulator. But everything's wrapping up inside. And one of the big things I need to do is swap out the steering wheel. So this is an original 63 steering wheel which has a bunch of cracks in it. And it would work fine for a stock car, but I have these seats that have these high bolsters. So whenever I try to get in, I have the seat all the way back. There's not a whole lot of room here between you know, the steering wheel and your leg. So it's rather, it's rather tricky to get in here. So I'm gonna swap this steering wheel out, although I like the character of it, for a red wheel and one that is slightly smaller because I'm probably not gonna be able to even get out of this with one, one hand holding the camera. It's not, it's not a delicate procedure. I got a new steering wheel in today. And this is one of those parts that's way too nice for the car. And you can tell because it, this is the company it came from. And you can tell because it's got this really nice cover on the outside. So this is a C2 style steering wheel. It is red leather wrapped and it's 15 inches in diameter. So it's slightly smaller and it's also a lot thicker. So it'll be better for performance driving. So you can see it's very, very similar, almost identical to the original style steering wheel. It's just a little smaller, so that should give it a nice look inside and also make it a lot easier to get into. So let's swap this thing out and see how much easier it is to get into this thing. So first let's get started with the steering wheel. So at first I had an original 63 wheel in here that was all cracked and it was really challenging to get in and out of the car because this distance is pretty tight and this is a non tilt or telescoping steering column. So this is a 15 inch leather wrapped steering wheel from Contour, it's C-O-N, the number two and R. This is a really nice steering wheel. They did a really good job on it. I found them on eBay and conveniently they had one in red listed, which is how I found them. Um, it's really nice quality and it's cool because it has the original style, you know, C2 spokes, which is really nice. And it, since it is 15 inches, it still looks proper. It doesn't look too tiny in here. It's a little thicker, which would be good for performance driving. And I have power steering on this car, so I don't need the extra leverage of a bigger steering wheel. It's much easier to get in and out of. So I'm really happy with the way that looks. And it's just cool to see a red steering wheel in here, especially when I have red door panels and eventually when I get red carpet in here. So I've been working on body working in this area, especially around the rear windows because I installed both rear windows. They fit a little bit snug, so I don't know how, uh, how well trim would fit. I think I still need to play with this one to get it to sink down just a little bit more, but they're fitting real nice. I took the driver glass out 
and replaced a seal in here so that way the glass actually stays connected to the regulator and I got that one to work. So I'm test fitting the hood. Right now I need to modify the hinges a little bit to allow the hood to slide forward because there's this pretty monstrous gap right here and it's really tight in the back. But right now everything's loose as you can hear but the hood does open so I'm getting closer to having a working hood and the hood just needs some more body work, some more sanding. I built up this little edge here that was missing on this door. So this again needs more body work. I need to blend it in. So I installed the passenger glass as well as the regulators and all the inside latches. Now I just got the rubber that goes in this channel. So I'll be installing the vent window glass in here. Then I need to install the vent window regulator. That way this is nice and secure. Again, I was doing more body work over here. So now really what I have to focus on is the areas where I you know, did my repairs. I have a little bit of sanding to do here. I have some more blending to do in this area, a couple holes to fill. And then I still have some smoothing to do in here just where we did all the bonding. And then the same thing on the driver's side. It's just that little stuff that needs attention. Like in here, I just had to fill some little, little gaps in here after we did the bonding. So I just went and smoothed all that out. So I just have a lot of little sanding to do in the jams, in these jams here. And then after that, I will go ahead and put on the door panel. I bought a latch for this side at Carlisle, but didn't realize it's a 67 latch. So I have another C2 latch coming for that side. Once I get that buttoned up and I get these door jams sanded, then I can go ahead and put the door panels on. But everything's getting really close. So I think what I'm gonna do back here is a little bit more sanding, put a little bit of a glaze on here to fill some of these pits. This still needs blended and I need to uh, final fit this door. It still needs to come up in the front, sand up top here, and then I'll start doing my patina because I'm not gonna leave this bright, brand new, shiny white. So there's still a lot of little stuff to do. I wanna go ahead and I just rough cut these gills. So I gotta go back and smooth these out and then make little grills to go in here as well as little grills for the hood. So there's a lot of a lot of little stuff that adds up to a lot of time. Gotta make the hood latch, make it fit. But we're getting close. I could take it to car lot like this, but I, I just wanna have the car, you know, at a, at a certain point that I'm proud to show it off. That it may look rough to a lot of people, but if you really look close, you can see there's a lot of good craftsmanship in it. And I don't want it to look like it's completely thrown together. So it's coming along. We have about a week or so till Carlisle and I'm gonna need every second of that time to get this thing done. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot of work to do on this car to get it ready for Corvettes at Carlisle. So make sure you come to the show, check it out. And this thing's getting really, really close. Still need to get the car lined and do some street driving. You know, start to break the clutch in, break the rear end in, gotta bed the pads in. So there's a lot of stuff that needs to happen between now and like, a week because I'm going to be leaving probably Wednesday. So by the time you see this, it'll be a week is when I'll be leaving. So not much time left on this car. So got a lot of work to do. I'll catch you guys later. So you know, the steering wheel is way too nice for a car whenever it comes with a really nice cover on it. The steering wheel is way too nice for this car. Shout out to these guys. This is so nice. Definitely got to leave this cover on here to keep this nice, especially while I'm doing body work.